Hello guys everyone. Um today I'm gonna do a book review. Not just one book, but uh this will be like a series of books that I have read. So this is gonna be the first video that I'm doing. This video is gonna be as you can see in the title, it's gonna be on general topics and I'll see how long this video lasts. And so I'm gonna start off with the first book. And this is the most memorable book of all because it's from it's called a teaspoon of courage I'm not sure if any of you have read it it's actually really common it's not a storybook I will show you the pages it's like this with lines of words at the bottom and it's basically like this and why this meant so much to me is because it was when my mental illness first started that um, this disciplinary teacher in school she she went on a trip to the US and she remembered me I mean she remembered my situation and she gave me this book so it's really really memorable and it's it's a little book of encouragement for whenever, whenever you need it you know the the quotes at the bottom are just like phrases and okay maybe i can read one of them to you guys let me see which one is the best i have it for like six to seven years and as you can see, I always grab my book. I always grab my book. They're like treasure to me. Okay. Maybe this one. You will make mistakes and you will look stupid. We all do. This is part of the process. And this is the panda. And the phrase was here so that's why I love this book so much not only because it's very meaningful and it's very it's meaningful to me and it's very meaningful with its content so this is the first book and the second one it's also on the general side not especially related to anything and it's also one of my favorite books it's called the white oleander um, they have different covers, you know, like authors or the publishers that like to renew the book with new designs and stuff. But these are designs that I had and I realized that they do have a movie version of it. If you're interested, instead of reading the book and watching the movie, they right now they still have the movie on YouTube. So you can search it like White Oleander on YouTube. and. They do have the entire movie separated into different parts. I don't know why they have not infringed on the copyright issues. Maybe because it's not a major film. Uh, but this is a really, really good book by Janet Finch. Yeah, here you can see it. These are all the characters in the movie. And this is the main character. And I love her, actually. Yes, I love her. Um, she is... Alyssa, Alyssa Lo Loman. I mean, yeah, you can search on it, search, search it online. But this book, why is it so interesting? It's because it's a book about this girl who grew up with her mother, divorced, and she went, she became, she went to foster home, a series of foster home, because there wasn't one that was suitable for her and there were incidents happening at every foster home the main reason why she went to foster home when she had her mother around was that her mother this woman committed a crime like after the divorce she uh, got engaged with another man although like throughout her childhood and i mean the childhood of the main character the girl uh okay the, the daughter is called astrid and 
throughout this entire journey of her growing up, her mother has been telling her all this like a man are not to be trusted. Never say sorry to a man, never, never let a man stay overnight. And then she was meeting, making all those mistakes with this new man that she got and um, that she got interested because he was so charming and all that. But in the end, this man turned his back on the woman, on her mother, and the wom and the and the mother was really really mad about it, which is why she committed a they they call it, they call it a murder, but it wasn't a murder. She just indirectly killed the man, uh, which you need to find out if you are reading the book. Um, and then that's why she went to foster home and she got through all this. She went through all the chaotic life until she reached the end where she compromised and she accept herself and she accept her mother for who they are. And this is really inspirational. And it was, I read it like when I was 17 or 18. That was like really a while ago and there was just so much to be learned from this book and I will recommend you to, as usual, as the usual rule, always read the novel before you watch the movie because movie they are just short, you know, they, they have to finish the entire story in one and a half hours so everything is just packed and with all the details missing and with the book you get all the details, all the description, and it's as though you're living the life of the main character. Hi there, I'm back, and this is the third book I'm gonna teach. I'm gonna tell you guys. Um, this is Tuesday with Mori. It's a very famous book. I know um, probably many of you have read it, and this is about uh, Mori. Mori is actually uh, okay. This book is by Mitch. Uh, album and what it says here is an old man a young man and life's greatest lesson he is very famous for all his book because it teaches you about life and it's very inspirational i have read it for quite a long time ago and basically it's about um two why is it called tuesday with morris because tuesday was the day that he met him. The main character met him. What's his name? I don't even remember. Um. Oh. It's Mitch. Okay, I'm sorry. It's actually I. I think it's a real life story. I think so. I'm sorry if I'm a bit ignorant on this. Um. Basically, he is the main character. And he met his professor on a Tuesday, who is Mori. Um, who is Mori? He 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 is a um, college professor who had taught him twenty years ago, and at the point of time, he was the main character. Mitch is facing some difficulties in life, and he was not. Um, uh, he was not like he he's just a young man and he doesn't understand life as much as what uh, what Mori does and Tuesdays with Maurice is that because Mori had actually a terminal illness which uh, means that he's gonna die and he is gonna die in a few in one month or like five weeks I don't know um, but they just so happened to meet and then for every Tuesday uh, Mitch would meet with uh, Mori and every Tuesday there would be a lesson taught to him not exactly like oh I'm conducting a lesson but it's more like conversational kind of lesson and whereby you learn and you learn about life and it's just so life is so fragile like it can just suddenly somebody around you could die and and it makes you realize so much 
Um, it's, it's actually a very touching story. I don't really want to relate to some of my own incidents, so um, I would recommend it if you want something inspirational, something um, you're looking for in life. And basically that's, that's all, you know, like, um, oh yeah, uh, and actually this book, why is it so inspirational? It's because Mitch, he was experiencing difficulties in life with, because it was 20 years ago when he met this professor and for him, he basically forgot, forgot everything that happened uh, with this mentor and uh, like the world just seems so much colder when you are out there working so to him just it was just he was at a dead end and when he met this professor he taught him so much that it makes him regain his hope in life regain his passion in life and you know this is what you would want to know before it's too late for anything you know you just don't want to live life in regret and that's why I would recommend this book to anyone who is looking for a life lesson. And it's very, very interesting. I, You will never be bored by this book. So uh, that's the end for the first video. And probably you can see the stack of book behind me. And another stack up there in my shelf. So I'm going to do more. See you guys soon.